Well, this is a quick YouTube video uh, just to show what's going on in the cellar. Quick view of the dog. Before we go in. Let's use the mat, it's all a work in progress. The stairs all will be sorted, it's all going to be carpeted and everything else. See, so you come straight down to this. There's the walk in viv there. That's the one with Cara in, she's the caramel albino. You can see her resting just in the back corner there. I'll give you a quick view of her better a bit later. Everything's padlocked. Uh, Coming to here again, excuse the mess. Coming around the corner, we've got a 6v3v3 with the male head caramel in. Uh, he was in the walking viv, but he's a lazy get and doesn't really make any use of it, so he's in a smaller viv now. And then we've got a small. Little girl in here. She's done, she's just fed yesterday, so we won't play with her too much. Sod. Right. That's basically it. Like I say, the cellar's full of all sorts of rubbish at the moment. It will eventually be uh, in this corner. We'll have an 8 foot by 3 by 3 um, Going into the corner, that's with one of the big critics that I don't have here at the moment. Um, we'll also have it's the old vent up onto the road outside, the path outside. This is all going to be rendered the walls, and there'll be like a display with um, a rescue bearded dragon that I took in a few months ago. He's going to go there, but it's, that's pretty much it. But it is the cellar, so it's got heating in there, the radiators in here. It does usually get fairly warm. All the vivs are locked, secured and everything else. This is the walking viv. This is just over nine foot deep, about four foot wide, maybe slightly under, so six foot high. So I've got, um, there's a heating tube there, 250 watt heating tube. Uh, that gives you the base heat. Uh, I keep the basic. Uh, usually about 26 to 28 roughly. Uh, I'm still fiddling out which, which temperature I want to stick with more. And then in this corner we've got a 250 watt infrared heater. Which is control, but controlled by a dimmer stat. And then there's the shelf there. That's the thermostat. So this wood's all been treated. So there's no parasites and all the muck and stuff on it. And then obviously a few fake plants. The earth itself is um, bioactive, it's got wood lice and a few other bits and pieces in it uh, which should keep some of the muck which I'll clean out the main bits and then it should help keep it, and keep it nice and clean as a water bottle at the moment I'm just putting bowls in uh, I am planning on something a bit better in the next few months she's got a guard on the window so she can't get to the glass and the walls have all been insulated, it was a bit wider than this. That's all been insulated on the brick and then it comes out it's about six inches deep. Um with OSB board on that and that's all been sealed. It's all glued together anyway, so it's usually sealed pretty well anyway, but it's been varnished as well. And there's a main light. See it's a bit bright, I'll turn it off so you can get a better look at it. Nope, very dark. Well oh, there you go, it's coming in. That's um, from an old factory uh, my dad used to work at. It's uh, waterproof and everything else. Fully sealed as ones he used to have in one of the chemical factories he used to work in. So it's a, it's a big beast that keeps her busy. She's uh, only went in yesterday. See she's looking a little bit on the plump side. She had two rabbits and three quails yesterday so she's a bit full. Well, hopefully this year she'll breed to the at caramel, a blonde, whatever you want to call him. And that's basically it. In the next few weeks there'll be a lot of changes going on. Um, this viv will be put into here, all this rubbish will be moved out. This viv will be put in here. And then uh, I'll start the one in the gap over there as well. I've got a quick freezer there with bits and pieces in. And there will be stuff going into some of the out. We've got like little brick outbuilding sheds outside. They're going to be getting work done as well. 
I'll give you a quick view of this guy before I go. Gorgeous. Just going to have a rough shed at the moment, but he's doing well. And he's, um, like I said, hopefully he'll breed to the, the caramel. Right, that's it. Thank you. Bye.